Angel Gabriel was sent from right above. Chibli and Elisa love. The words you said you're the chosen one. Chosen by Rabbi Lana me. The prophet for all humanity. How hard do we work for our money? If a person loses $10,000, what happens to him? Have you ever seen a person that lost, just lost $10,000? He got stolen 10 grand. He was in the mosque and he lost 10 grand. What happens? You find him, he's there. He's not here. Habib, what's wrong? He's, he's about to faint. People, people, people die in the stock exchange, sah? They hear the news. Ah, oh, you, uh, you lost $1 million. Death. He dies on the spot. Why? He works so hard for this money. Have you ever seen a person crying in the mosque? Crying in the mosque? What's wrong, brother? He goes, Wallah, I miss a lot of fajr. Shweda. Say, he's crazy. See this man? man. Wallah, he, he, he's lost the plot. He's crying in the mosque. Why? He's missed a lot of fajr. So what? Uh, crying? Like, it isn't. You're an extremist. This is, this is extremism. You are a terrorist. What? It's too much. Crying because of the fashion, but ten grand. Yeah, understand. If you lose a, if you lose a kid, people understand. You lost your car, people understand. But you miss a lot of fashion in the mosque. What? What's the story? Less than one percent, less than one percent of the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu nowadays pray fashion in the masjid. And what did Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi say? He said. ولو علم الناس ما في العتمة والصبح لأتوهما ولو حبوا. If people only knew the reward of praying fajr and isha in the masjid, coming to fajr, fajr صلاة and isha صلاة, they would come crawling, crawling. What would make you crawl from your house to the Kimba Mosque? Ask yourself. Let's understand. Let's read between the lines of the hadith of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم. Rasulullah is saying sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if you knew the reward of Fajr Salah and Isha Salah you would come even if you had to crawl you would come on your on your hands and knees what would make you ask yourself if I say to you Habibi Allah if you come crawling from your house I'm gonna give you five dollars will you come if I say if I make an announcement anyone that comes crawling from his house to the mosque will take five dollars will anyone come crawling if I say a thousand dollars in Australia, probably nah, man. Are you serious? Who cares? No, I'm not gonna come crawling from my house. But if I say one million dollars, yeah, Baba, you will find Sydney like eh, like a zoo, sah? Why every million dollars? Like uh, I'll come on my on my head. A million dollars, sah or not? Rasulullah is saying, if you knew the reward of fashion, you would come crawling. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means simply. That Salat al-Fajr is more, more valuable than a million dollars. It's more valuable than a million. Who's saying this? Who is saying this to us? Rasulullah. What does this mean? It means that Salat al-Fajr is more valuable than a million dollars. Have you ever seen a man that lost a million dollars? Who said? He will, he will die. People will die. So this is how we should feel if you miss Salat al-Fajr in the masjid. But what? This is where we test our hearts. What is really of value in your heart? Is it really deen as you are claiming? Is the love of Allah and His Messenger as you are claiming? Or this heart is full of dunya. Full of love for worldly things. We love our parents. We love our wives. We love our kids. We love our houses. We love our cars. We love our money. True love. Sincere love. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not speaking whether that is wrong. Or don't misunderstand me. I'm saying, honey, don't love your parents or don't love you. No, I'm not only saying that. I'm saying, what's this love compared to our love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Or love of deen? What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran? Words of Allah. So you don't say this guy is command an extremist. We repeat, we, we speak the words of Allah. Allah is saying, قُلْ إِنْ كَانَ Say, قُلْ إِنْ كَانَ آبَاؤُكُمْ وأبناؤك وإخوانك وأزواجك وعشيرتكم وأموال اقترفتموها وتجارة تخشون كسادة ومساكن ترضونها أحب إليكم من الله ورسوله وجهاد في سبيله فتربصوا
حتى يأتي الله بهم والله لا يهدي القوم الفاسقين Say to them O Muhammad If your fathers or your and your brothers and your if your fathers and your sons and your brothers and your wives and your clan and your money and your merchandise and and all these things are more beloved to you than Allah and his messenger and struggling and striving in his path so then wait wait for the punishment of Allah as the ulama say wait for the punishment of Allah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not guide the fasiqeen al fasiq is a person who is a, who is a sinner al fusuq al khuruj he, he left he left the sirat al mustaqim he left that path this is why we call him fasiq Allah does not guide the fasiqeen so it's Allah saying to us our heart has seats this heart has seats it should have three seats Allah and his prophet and his deen number one front row and then comes the rest our hearts now are upside down deen comes where in your life the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes where in your life not priority number one things come first this is what I say if these things if these eight things are more beloved to you than Allah and his messenger and struggling and striving in his path then wait for Allah's punishment it's the word of Allah Open the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The book of Allah is between us. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Afala yatadabbaruna al-Qur'an. Don't they? Don't read, don't they ponder, don't they understand the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Don't they look deep into the words of Allah? Am ala qulubin aqfaluha. Or have these hearts, or does the, do these hearts have locks on them? Wa dhakir. فَإِنَّ الذِّكْرَى تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ